Hi, my name is John Mancini. I wanted to give you a little bit of an overview of a presentation that I'll be covering over the next couple of weeks. It's called The Big Bang and Information Management. Specifically, what I want to talk about is a collision of forces between information management with E2O technologies, mobile technologies, consumer, and control-based technologies. My theory here is that the nature of information management is changing rather fundamentally due to five basic forces out in the environment. And so what I want to talk about is this kind of a trend. When we ask people in some of our surveys about the whole progression of information management and how the nature of IT has changed in the last few years and is changing right now, what we find is that 85% of people basically say that the major challenges associated with information technology are in the process of changing from technology to information. And that has fundamental impact in terms of the way that information management will evolve over the next few years. Another way of looking at this, this was covered in a uh, This Week at Google episode on June 16th, and I really liked the dynamic that they were talking about here, is that basically what's emerging are three different views of the Internet and the Web. And they're not mutually exclusive, but they are different, and they each pose fundamental implications for the nature of information management in the years ahead. So, for example, in the upper left-hand corner, you have a page-based view, pages and links. We've gotten used to that. That's basically the fundamental way that we've created the web over the last decade or so. New York Times site, an example of that. In the upper right-hand corner, you have a very different view of the web and the Internet, which is an activity-based view of the web and the Internet. And this can have a lot of different dimensions in terms of openness and closeness, for example, um, Twitter being a relatively open system, Facebook an example of this kind of an approach to the web being a relatively closed system. And lastly, at the bottom you have an application-based view of the web. Um, this is first popularized by Apple in the App Store, but now you also see this in the Android Store, and this basically represents taking different applications, slimming them down, making them compartmentalized, often cutting off some of the access that has been characteristic of the page-based view of the world. As Seth Godin says, when the platform changes, leaders change. And that's the process that we're in the middle of right now when it comes to information management. So I thought I would take as my cue in talking about this Big Bang to take what the Big Bang show itself uses when they talk about different episodes. They use three word descriptions of episodes. For example, the lunar excitation, the Plimpton simulation, the spaghetti catalyst. And so my five different episodes that I'm going to talk about over the next couple of weeks are the Facebook dilemma, the mobile exigency, the SharePoint paradox, the shutterfly effect, and the black swan. And I hope you'll join me over the next couple of weeks as we talk about each of these issues in the context of the changes coming in information management. I thought I'd leave you with a quick commercial in terms of some of the activities that are available through AIM. Our Enterprise 2.0 community is the place that people come together to talk about the impact of Enterprise 2 technologies in the context of businesses, and that's at e2ocommunity.com. We also have a new community on records management, ermcommunity.com. And if you need to find me, I can be followed on Twitter at jmancini77 or on my blog, Digital Landfill, at aim.typepad.com. So I look forward to having you on these next five episodes over the next couple of weeks.